Hi, my name is Karina and welcome to the Karina Chronicles. In this video, I will have a reading vlog of reading Circe by Madeline Miller. And I am so excited for this book. I can't wait to start. <laughs> gotten Cersei from Madeleine Miller from the Dutch publisher of this book. So that is Rainbow Publishers, Rainbow Uitgeverijen. Hello, Karina from the near future here. I came in because I uh, realized that I didn't say exactly correctly what the publisher is doing and I wanted to say it good. So I will just cut that part out <laughs> of the video and will tell you again how Rainbow Publishing works because they do not translate books themselves. They choose books that other people, other publishers translated to Dutch and uh, they consider them classics and they need to be in common knowledge. So they kind of have like a book collection that if you've read all those books, you are well read. Of course, that is a little bit of a joke, but um, they only publish books that are considered as old or modern classics. And they make a beautiful version out of it. So you can have like a special edition, which is cool. But what they also do is they give them numbers. Can you see it? It's not focusing. Ah, uh, yeah. So this is number 1404. I looked into our bookcase. We have some more books, but they are all not for me. So that's weird. Uh, so most of them are borrowed. But if you would collect all the books, you can put them on a number, which is also highly satisfying, you know. So, yeah, really happy. And I also found out that the 10 euro thing was a sticker. I thought it was into the cover. So I'm really happy I could take it off and the cover is even more pretty now. So really happy with that as well. And I'm finally going to start it. Yay! A lot of friends of mine think Cersei to be just as good as the Song of Achilles, maybe even better. On the internet, people are a little less hyped up about this book compared to the Song of Achilles, but it still has a very high rating everywhere. So I can't wait. I will spend this whole reading vlog reading this, so I will update you regularly. It's not a thick book, so I don't know how big this reading vlog will be. Especially because I expect myself to go through it in one read. <laughs> so I don't know how this will go, but we will just read and I will update you in between. And at the end, I will let you know if I think it's just as incredible as the Song of Achilles. And if Madeline Miller is going to have uh, two years in a row favorite book of the year. So we'll see. <laughs> few chapters of Cersei and um, of course my expectations are high up there somewhere because I love the Song of Achilles so much so of course I'm afraid that it won't live up to the hype I created for myself and some friends did as well but that's not what I want to talk about yet it's just that I'm a little bit confused by the info dump at the beginning and uh, I still like it. I really like the writing style. The translation is good up till now. But I can understand that people that didn't follow Greek at high school, which I did, or haven't read a lot of mythology. I mean, I read Mythos by Stephen Fry. So that's like very short for all the important myths about how Greek mythology 
she started with the gods and, and stuff. <laughs> so I just follow through that info dump and I'm like, yeah, oh yeah, this story, this story. And I really like it. But I feel like if you're a random person and you read this, you're like, who's who and what? <laughs> so I feel like that's a bit weird to do that in that way. But okay, we'll see. Maybe it's not that important. Maybe she's just like, I want to have said it, but it's not important for who Cersei is. So it probably won't mind. Just wanted to say so. Hi, I have been reading and I feel so guilty because I, I'm just as bad as Cersei's whole family. They all said she is not that she's worthless, that she's only like the daughter of a nymph and she's not important and she's not worthwhile a story. And I thought the same. I just realized that I have no memory of Cersei's story at all. And I'm enjoying myself so much. Her story is incredible. What an amazing witch she is. And I can't wait to read the rest of this book. I am mm, little under halfway point. And I feel like Cersei has become the main character that she's going to be in the rest of the book. Because in the first part she obviously had some development and some uh, reveals to show who she actually is. And that from now on we see her have her adventures. Um, there are a lot of stories in here that I do recognize, but I just didn't know her part in it. So I am just so happy to read this book. And I feel like this is going to be a five star as well. Just like the Song of Achilles. But it's a very different reading experience. Because the Song of Achilles, I knew what was going to happen like almost every word. <laughs> uh, but I just thought it was so beautifully written. But for this, I'm also like, oh no, I don't know which story this is. And usually when I get through the story, I'm like, ah. Uh, I know where this is going, <laughs> but it is still great. <laughs> so yes, I'm, yeah, I'm just very happy that I'm reading this. I think it will be a five star rating. As I said before, I do think that if you're not well known with the mythologies, uh, the beginning is a big info dump because they call all the gods and their families and everyone. So. If you're new to this, maybe just go to the end of the book where you have like a name overview. Just read that a little bit and then skip easily through the beginning because the info dump is not necessary. <laughs> so that's the only thing that I'm like, oh, I can imagine people are overwhelmed when they start reading this. But I'm enjoying my time so much. I'm quickly continuing because I want to finish this book. Hello, so I've read a little bit more of Cersei. I am still loving it. This book is incredible. I love Cersei. Maybe she's even my new favorite mythological person. <laughs> but she's just incredible. But I do have something I want to talk about, which is a little bit spoilery. It's a mild spoiler. I don't think by any means that if you listen to this spoiler, that you would enjoy your read of Cersei less. But if you don't want to hear it, I will put on the screen until when you can skip and then the spoiler will be over. So I'm starting now. If you have seen my video where I read The Wastelands by Stephen King, I tell about a horrible rape scene which has no purpose for the story. And while well, I have a whole saying about how this is ridiculous, <laughs> that a man would put this in a book just because and some weird fetish. And I've just read a rape scene in Cersei. And some it could have happened the same way as with the Wastelands, that I would lose my enjoyment in reading and that I needed to put it away for a while, although it is one of my new favorite books because that is what the Wasteland is. 
This one is completely different. Of course, it's written by a woman. I think that helps. But maybe that's too easily said. But what I do know what is different is that this rape scene is not purposeless. And that is because it fits the story. And it's horrible that it happens. And it's a an horrible event. And it ruins her in some way. But it is written in the same horrific way. <laughs> like it's just a horrible event that's happening and it has an impact on her, a big impact. And um, that's still horrible to read, but that's the same with like war. War happens in books as well and it's also horrible to read and you don't want war to happen. But it does make the story. So I'm not enjoying that, but it does fit it and it makes the story greater although it's horrible and it's not written in a fetish like way and with Stephen King I was really like oh my god is this what you dream of at night because I can't handle that and this was not a fairy tale like or in any way talked about as if it was something good or that it would make sense it was just horrible. It was also not very explicit. And I think that makes it okay. So for me, this didn't ruin my enjoyment of the book at all. So I'm happy with that. <laughs> and I just wanted to talk about that. So, so that was the spoiler. It's a mild spoiler. I am two thirds of the book in. I think I can finish it. So I'm quickly going through with it. I finished it. I finished Cersei. Is it a new all-time favorite? I think so. I think so. It maybe even is better than the Song of Achilles. I don't know yet. I don't know. I don't know if that's really true. The Song of Achilles was my favorite read of 2021. So it would be something to say this book is even better. Maybe it's just because I didn't know this myth this, that well. So I was also surprised about th some things. But I just love Cersei and I want to reread it. And I never have that. And I also feel that it's more exciting or something. Because she has different adventures. You see her whole life, which is long. Because she is <laughs> kind of a goddess. So <laughs> you go through a lot more time. And I think it makes it so interesting. I really, really, really liked it. So I would highly recommend you to read this book. I want to thank Rainbow Publishers again for sending it to me. Because it even lived up to the high expectations that I had. Which is highly impressive. Because with the Song of Achilles I didn't have that many, many expectations. And it was great. But this one I was really nervous because I had such high expectations. So... It's incredible that it still lived up to it. Um, yeah, and I think I'm also going to end this vlog here. I am so happy I've read a new favorite. It's definitely a five star rating. It's my favorite read of this year up till now, but we're only in March. I am curious to see if at the end of the year this will be my favorite again that Madeline Miller scores two years in a row. Uh, I hope you liked this video. Let me know if you've read Cersei or if you're planning on reading Cersei because as you might understand, I would like for you to do that. <laughs> if you like this video, please leave a like. And if you subscribe to my channel and you click the notification bell, you will be notified whenever I post a new video. I hope you'll have a lovely day filled with books. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye! I can't believe it actually lived up to my expectations. That was so unlikely because the bar was set so high. But you really need to read Cersei. I'm so happy that I've read this book.